After a series of break-ins, a Lansing neighborhood is fighting crime with garden shears. People in the Morris Park area have been taking down the dense plants that give crooks an easy place to hide. Lauren Fultonberg was there today and has more on the cleanup. <laughs> Who knew gardening tools could be crime fighting tools too. Well, we just want to make sure that there are no places for bad folks, you know, to hide. A lot of overgrown trees and stuff. When neighborhood president Paul Johns walks through the alleyways, he sees security risks everywhere. Let's say I, let's say I wanted to break into the house. The police drive by, they're not even going to see me from the road here, you know, especially at night and especially without any lighting in the alley. After five robberies in a month's time, <laughs> residents say something had to be done. People are kind of freaked out. You know, I sit on my porch with a knife just kind of waiting, you know, at night when I'm, you know, at home hanging out. Um, you know, I just, uh, just want people to not have to feel that way. So Saturday, they took their knives to the bushes. Here's one here that's really bad. In this alley, residents found a street light they didn't know was there. I, w I didn't even know this alley existed until now. But for all the tearing down, there was plenty of building relationships. We're your neighbors. If you don't know your neighbors, then you're not going to, you know, have any unity against the crime in the neighborhood. For any one of us to do this would be a huge undertaking, but within literally an hour, probably, we can change this particular one pretty dramatically. And neighbors say they think change is coming. I could go for a walk here and just disappear. Now, John's hopes the crime disappears instead. In Lansing, Lauren Fultonberg, Fox 47 News. Lansing police have stepped up their patrols in the area after residents complained that officers were taking too long to respond to crime. Two, teen two teenagers, meanwhile, were arrested on Thursday for allegedly breaking into one of the homes. No word yet on whether they were connected to the other burglaries.